So using this, I will be accessing my web page. But what is that you have observed? Have you ever typed this kind of addresses? No. What is that we do? We write something www.yahoo.com, www.gmail.com. So why? What are these things? These are nothing but domain names. See, it's quite difficult for us to remember the IP addresses on which we have the applications. So what we do, we map this IP address with a name. It's similar to your mobile number. See, uh, you might be having a mobile and you cannot remember the mobile numbers of all your friends and relatives. What we do, we feed the mobile number mapping with a name. A name mapped to a mobile number. So what is that we do? We feed a name mapped with to a mobile number. In the same way, all these IP addresses are feed it mapping to a name called as domain name so all these IP addresses are mapped to a certain domain name now what is that we do we do not write this thing, we do not write the IP address. What is that we do? We write www.xyz.com. Now, what happens whenever I write this? Anyway, I want to reach to this system. To reach to this system, I need to have that IP address. Do we have IP address here? No. IP address is present in this system, in this server. This is also a separate server. This is also a separate server. This server is called as DNS server. Domain name system server. So whenever I write a URL, whenever I write www.xyz.com, my request goes to the domain name server to find out the IP address of this domain name. See, uh, we dial a number, we dial the number. How do we dial the number? We search the name of our friend and we just say call what happens the name gets resolved into the contact number and that number gets dialed in the same way this domain name gets resolved into the ip address from the domain name server and it returns the ip address then with the help of this ip address again request goes to the server so what happens first of all whenever we type a url it tries to resolve the domain name to the ip address if it does not find the domain name on this server it search it on some other server so unless and until it gets the ip address it is not at all going to reach the server so uh, for this uh, reasons you might have observed whenever you write a url for the first time it takes a little time and in the second hit, what it does is it stores the IP address of this domain name in the cache or in the memory of the system, of the client. So for the second hit, it is a little fast when we compare to the first hit. Why? Because in second hit, it is trying to search the IP address of this domain in the cache itself. It, if it found there, then it takes the IP address and makes the request to the server. So this is what so uh, what we do is we simply write www.gmail.com, www.google.com, www.macmillhasanit.com or something. So these are the things that happens behind the screen. So this is all about your web application and how we access a web page and what all the things happen behind the screen whenever we access a web page. Thank you.